Floyd Mayhem Garage. Well, it's daytime again. <laughs> this thing is looking ridiculous. Whole front end's cut out. Most of the floor's cut out. You can see what rusty bits are left over. Got a lot of the back cut out. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do back here. Cause I'd like to try to keep kind of as much of this package tray intact as I can. But I've definitely gotta cut out the wheel wells. And width wise, uh, kind of fit around the body and frame and stuff. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the interior pieces where the uh, the windows are mounted to. So I've gotta kind of figure that out, but gotta trim it up at least and get trimming, and then hopefully uh, you know get the rest of this trimmed out, get that the rest of that rusty side trimmed out, and hopefully have something left over for the uh, jack to hold up still. Got even that side, you can see the, the hole that's next to the uh, uh, jack stand over there. This side, this side's not as bad except for the hole in the floor. But yeah, gotta get the wheel wells cut out. Uh, gotta get the outside ones cut out too, I believe. Not believe, I'm, I, measurements wise says I have to. So I'll probably cut them out and at least trim up to the edge here. I wanna try to kinda retain the Shape, man, that's rusty there too. Wow. This thing gets rustier and rustier the more I take it apart. <laughs> so, but yeah, get those trimmed up. And I believe I'm not too far. I, mean, I gotta finish trimming up the dash stuff. Uh, get the pedals out, cause those are still bolted up in place. And then I can finish trimming up the firewall. Uh, trim that closer. Now that I got the rest of this trimmed up and hopefully uh, figure out how I'm gonna hold it. I think, I've seen a couple other people uh, with some cars, uh, just with straps around the roof, pick them up that way. And once I get the rest of this cut out, this thing's really not that heavy. So, and I know I've got more counterweight on the back right now than I do the front. And this thing is, well, other than the fact that we're flexing too, this whole thing, look how look how wiggly it is. <laughs> We're not even touching on this this one because everything's bent and rusty. But yeah, definitely the structure's gone out of this car. But yeah, uh, I think picking up by the roof shouldn't be a big deal at all because it's going to be light enough. This thing doesn't weigh hardly anything right now. So and yeah, if I do that, I think I can get it the race car out here and attempt to set it on the frame i'm not sure what i'm gonna have to do width wise that is gonna be an issue uh but at least get it a test fit and see see how it looks and go from there <laughs> so yeah let's get after it Well, I'm getting closer. We're inside it here. Check this out, huh? Man, it's amazing how rusty this thing is. And of course now, no fender wells. You can see the chunks of patch panel they put in, wherever this was. How about this side? Same thing, hole in the floor. Check out the rocker on that side. <laughs> and then this support, half of it's completely gone. Mouse nest or squirrel's nest or something. And same thing, quarter panel's gone. They had an aluminum patch panel screwed into it. But, got that one off, so here we go. I'm not sure how much I need to cut here or what I'll end up doing or trimming, but a lot closer at least. I'm still not sure if I'm going to have to trim this up or not. It would be kind of cool if I can leave it. It's a little bit structural to the car at least. Ooh. Yeah, we're, uh, we're making progress here. Well, <laughs> um, I've cut so much out at this point. Uh, we're starting to get real flimsy and I need to cut more out. So, the jack down at the bottom 
I've got to come up with something different. So, because uh, I've got to cut more of that inner structure out, I'm going to have to cut out where the uh, quarter panels go and cut that section out and then cut out more of the rocker there. And that's where the whole back of the car is being held up right now. So, I got my pallet. I think I'm going to pick this up with the skid steer and I think move the jack stand from up here onto the top of the pallet to my angle iron I have on the back here. And hopefully that'll work. I think it'll work. If not, I guess. I don't know, I'll have to figure something else out at that point. Nice and sturdy. <laughs> on the list of things not to do at home. I got a lot to go. That might not be happening. Not this way, at least. Man, the rockers might have to go. 
Hmm. I knew it was going to be tight. I didn't think it would be that tight. Damn. So, aside from the obvious, I mean, I think everything else is looking pretty decent. <laughs> oh man, I've cut a lot more than I wanted to. I could cut the bars out of the race car, but I don't want to do that as that's kind of my my frame when I stretched it. Huh. Well, there's that extra crash bar piece on the driver's side of the roll, roll cage, or the race car, whatever you want to call it, the frame. Uh, that needs to come out because of where the uh, floor sits. Man, I was really hoping we were going to be closer than that. Come on, can I not stretch it? Does it not bend as much as I thought it did? Even if I do, that's going to hit. There's nothing to pull on. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't quite fit, does it? <laughs> Boy, it's close though. Now can I get it off of there? <sighs> well, I guess I gotta pull it off and put it back on the drive stand. I gotta figure out how much more I wanna cut because that doesn't clear by like a lot. <laughs> lot so I might have to take my rockers off which is not much left of them anyways but yeah this corner is a troublesome area but you know if I get that cleaned up and straightened out that can drop down that can drop down 
my thought was, if I'm really going to have to stretch them, oh, that's what else I'm hitting, those inner fender pieces or the inner quarter pieces. I forgot to cut these out, too. I mean, they're just partially hitting on this side, but... Boy, that's really pushed that quarter up. But once I get it past, I'm going to have to trim this up, too. Maybe that bar down there. But... Once I get it kind of flexed past, I could put it kind of back underneath once I get past the, uh, the bars. It's kind of the idea, but it's not flexing as much as I kind of thought. For as flimsy as this thing is, it doesn't flex at all. Alright, let me pull it off and set it on the jack stand and roll the race car back in. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll finish it up for tonight. And... Um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you all later. See you in the next video.